It's time for bike Karen. Help me! Please 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 help me! Help! Please get off me! Wait, what the fuck is going on, bro? Help! Why you took his phone? What's wrong with you? Don't touch his phone. You're not touching his phone. I'm not touching you. You say you're hurting my fetus. You put a your stomach on my head. My dude, stop. No, my dude, stop. No, 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 no. I said no. I said sit down. Please. You're not crying. You're not crying. Wait, the, one of the dudes' names is Hassan? Am I crazy? Wait. Wait, you, 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 you put that on? Hey, 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 hey. Hassan, you put that on? Hassan, wait, what? Yo! Hey, Hassan, you put it out. Hassan. Hassan, you put it out. This is my bike. It's on my account. Please move. All right, so why don't we set, reset the bike? I'm not resetting the bike. It's his. It's his. It's his. I'm going to throw it out on your account. You're an actor. I don't give a fuck. That's just my fake client. He's fake client. Stop fake client. Hey, stop touching me. I don't touch you. Hold up, hold up. Hey, stop touching me. Stop touching me. Why don't you take this bike? Stop touching me. You're not touching me. I will. I can't. Exactly. So take it. So take it. Oh, buggy, you're stupid ass. Fuck out of here. Stop asking. Your baby gonna come out with time. How you stop crying? He said the baby gonna come out R word. Yo! Chill, dude. What the f? Cancel him. Cancel this man. I will. I can't. Exactly. So take it. So take it. Oh, oh, you're you're stupid stupid stop, you're stupid ass. Fuck out of here. Stop asking me. Your baby's gonna come out with time. Wait, 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 wait. How you stop crying? Not a, not a tear came down, miss. Not a tear came down. Wait, this is not the full video. She starts crying. Doesn't she? Oh, she, oh, she did cry here. I didn't even, I missed it. She's fake crying. Stop fake crying. Hey, stop touching me. I don't touch you. Hold up, hold up. Hey, stop touching me. Stop touching me. Why don't you take this place? Stop touching me. You're not touching me. I will, I she immediately starts crying and then stops crying <laughs> like that. She charged the alt and I I don't think I don't think she timed the window correctly. Yeah, she just got alt canceled. You know what I mean? Okay, so there's there's multiple there's ah! multiple updates. There's multiple updates. There's multiple updates. There's oh god, I love drama like this. So first of all, it's crazy that like any altercation at any given moment can one lead to like those dudes getting fucking beaten up by the police. So if you personally think that like her screaming like that is not to like try and get someone to fucking call the cops on them. And that if you think that like those kids deserve to get their fucking asses beat, maybe even killed for this, what I understand is a uh, confusion. Okay. Is ridiculous. It's wild though, that any altercation online immediately gets posted with like millions of fucking views with million with, you know, multiple different viewpoints that turn into like a national news story like that. So the original story was absolutely on the side of the kids. Everyone did the whole, like, this is another, like, uh, you know, Karen fucking trying to get uh, young black kids in trouble with the law. It seems like they are the ones who have ownership over the bike. He's like standing on the bike. Why is she trying to steal it? Uh, blah, 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 blah. Right. Then she hired a lawyer who then came out and claims now that she actually has receipts. Her lawyer, Justin Marino, said there's much more to the story than the video depicts. I'm trying to stop the threats to her family by clearing her name and letting people know what actually occurred. Since the video was posted last Saturday, Comrie has weathered an onslaught of criticism and vitriol with some labeling her a city bike Karen. A Karen is a term for a white is a term for white women who put black men in danger over trivial disagreements. <laughs> Marino said Comrie has two main goals at this point. One, she wants her job, and two, she wants to walk the streets safely. As the fear escalated, the City Health and Hospitals Network, which oversees Bellevue, announced on Tuesday that Comrie had been placed on leave. Marino said he has warned the hospital and the Health Plus Hospitals Corps that he will stand up for Comrie's rights. Companies are permitted to do investigations when they see a concern, he said. I will have an issue with them uh, if and when they move to terminate her. A spokesman from Health and Hospitals declined to address Marino's specific concerns, but a statement posted by the agency on Twitter earlier this week called the video of Comrie 
Montgomery disturbing. Marino accused other news outlets of outrageously portraying his client as a racist who was trying to steal a city bike from a young black man. Marino contends that Comrie paid with the city bike app, the city bike with an app on her phone, and then removed it from the docking station. During this time, a group of about five individuals approached her saying that the bike was theirs. Remember, this is the lawyer defending her, uh, defending his client for the record. The fact that they just address all of this without taking into account like the other parties here in question is kind of wild. Has Ben Crump addressed the R-worded kid allegations? <laughs> no. He's like, your honor, my client simply did not want this visibly pregnant woman to engage in physical actions that would leave the baby R-worded. <laughs> the consideration on behalf of my client was upon the health and safety of the baby. Anyway, during this time, a group of about five individuals approached her. One of the one or more individuals in that group physically pushed her bike with her on it back into the docking station, causing it to relock. One of the individuals then covered the QR code on the bike, which is visible in the video, preventing her from paying for it again so she could leave. Bob Rowe, Comrie's uncle, set up a GoFundMe page for his niece, which has so far raised more than $43,000. This seems insane. If this is true, it's like a fucking wild thing that they did. It, it doesn't make sense. So they set up a GoFundMe, which raised $43,000. I don't know what that's about. <laughs> Roe contends that Comrie is far from racist <laughs> and knows that she holds racial justice and equity dear and has dedicated her life to serving New York City's most challenged individuals. My niece, Sarah Comrie, a physician's assistant at Bellevue, became embroiled in a much publicized incident with a city bike that has unfairly painted her as a racist Karen, he wrote. The facts have since proven this is a lie, but the damage has been done. New York Post has been going crazy bananas mode over this. First, they wrote articles calling her like a fucking dumbass Karen. Then now they're writing an insane amount of articles being like, look at these violent black thugs. <laughs> they hit both sides so fucking hard with maximum intensity. It's incredible. The way that they operate is actually incredible. Play both sides and you always come out on top. That's what the New York Post motto is. The Manhattan hospital worker embroiled in a fight over City Bunk. Uh, by blah, 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 blah. We already covered this. She received death threats. Enraged viewers jumped to conclusions. Yeah, I mean, she lawyered up and is like doing full court press now. And if if the incident is even close to like the way that her team is depicting it, then yeah, it's kind of fucked up that like, I mean, she doesn't deserve to have her life ruined for this uh, incident. Of course, Twitter conservatives have immediately run with this narrative. And now this has become like a race war, uh, as always, fueled by uh, the media that loves this kind of narrative uh, as well. This is the fucking GoFundMe? Help Sarah Comrie fight being branded a Karen? 63, we don't deserve healthcare. I'm gonna be honest with you. Nah, nah, Americans have too much disposable income, I've decided. No, remember when I said like everybody deserves healthcare? I've decided nobody deserves healthcare. If you live inside of the borders of the United States of America, you are unwittingly or willingly participating in the idiocy that is being an American citizen. And therefore, none of us deserve healthcare. We all deserve, uh, you know, J.D. Pond style uh, permanent <laughs> first world genocide. <laughs> Okay, um, yeah, we deserve Dianne Feinstein. Uh, we deserve all of our senators to be Dianne Feinstein. The thing that is like fucked up on her behalf is like very clearly crying and then stopping the tears immediately and, and yelling help, help. You're doing that because instead of like dealing with the person that you're talking to in front of you, you're doing that because, you know, you want the police to come deal with it. And the police are going to deal with it in a very violent way, as uh, history has shown. And that's fucked up. We're at a very troubling impasse where things that could be resolved by talking to one another instead get dealt with online by third parties that have none of the information whatsoever. And then everybody fucking jumps to it jumps down the other person's uh throat like i don't even think she should be fired for that i'll be honest maybe it's a bad take maybe they'll get mad at me but like it's like weird that we look at every conflict or shitty day that someone's having uh, with the severity of like uh, an egregious act of violence taking a bike is not the same as almost getting someone killed i don't think there's any both sizing in the situation no, the only reason why it's not a it's not that severe is because cops didn't show up. I mean, she attempted. Luckily, no police uh, showed up on scene. If they did, this would be a very different story. But of course, she's not thinking that in that moment. I think she's probably thinking, I want this to be dealt with by the police. That's what she's thinking. I don't think she's like, oh yeah, I hope they get fucking murdered by the police when they come here. It doesn't make sense on either 
party's uh, actions. That's what's like frustrating about this story. It doesn't make sense that like a random group of kids would like go and like push the bike back in to shut it down and then rent it and then be like, no, this is my bike. It's not your bike. Just like it doesn't make sense that like a six month, pro six month pregnant woman would like flop her ass on top of a fucking bike that uh, someone else had uh, rented and be like, no, it's my bike. There's been a copy of the receipt posted in the article. For whatever reason, they felt the need to hide the time, and somehow she managed to rent another bike within a minute of this one being docked. But anyway, here's proof nobody stole anything. There were no charges. Why did they post the receipt while hiding the time of the receipt? That makes no fucking sense. Another receipt provided the insider shows payment for a second city bike taken from the same docking station one minute after the first bike was relocked. The receipt also shows a 25-minute trip that Marino says was his client's ride home after the incident. That part doesn't make sense. And I don't know. The other bike is also electric. You can see in the vid. Wait, really? Let me see. And near East 30th and 1st Avenue. That's one of the bikes. The other one is like a bike that the dude was sitting on. So I think that's been rented already. Been before the recording began at the city bike stand near East 30th and 1st Avenue. But many are. Oh, that's another. The yeah, that's another white bike. Worker, a physician's assistant who NYC Health yeah. and Hospitals Bellevue say. A Here's my opinion on the matter. If she yelled like that and she got what she wanted, which is both the bike and also a bunch of cops to show up and brutally. Even let's not let's say they didn't kill the kids, but they beat the shit out of one of the kids and arrested him. Do you think it's valid? Like over a fucking city bike? The reason why I'm being uh you know silly about it and covering it with like not the same intensity of a TikToker is because luckily nothing awful happened in that situation. But something really bad could have happened in that situation, and it would not have happened. Uh, it would not have happened to her, especially considering the way that like the kids are reacting versus the way that she's reacting. Like she was agreeable after someone literally one of the kids literally said, "There's another bike right there." Okay, how okay would it have been for him to snatch her phone? Also, yeah, I mean, exactly. How would you be reacting right now if the black teenager fucking if the if he stole her phone? ripped her phone from her hand, you would be fucking probably screaming bloody murder in that regard. But she did it to him, and it's fine. I guess it was a self-defense. Everyone fell for the claim that she has receipts. So now even people who believe the black guys have changed their minds. When this video first came out, I called this lady a racist that she was crying crocodile tears because she was under, because I was under the impression that she was trying to steal the bike. Now having seen the evidence, I realized I made a jackass of myself. I sincerely apologize. Someone posted that video claiming that the woman was trying to steal a bike from the black folks. Receipts later showed that she's the one who paid for it and he was the one trying to steal it from her. No one was stealing anything from anyone else. Like, this is what's so fucking stupid. If anything, you're, like, cutting in line. And I don't think anyone should be getting killed for cutting in line or getting arrested for cutting in line. There is no theft happening here. That's what's so fucking stupid. Because even the receipts that she showed, which could be from any fucking time, which doesn't even show what time she tried to, uh, what, what time frame she actually rented the bike for okay which would be pretty important to figure out especially after you figure out what time this altercation happened what's fucking ridiculous about this entire situation is that one we don't know what time she tried to fucking rent the bike we don't know if he rented the bike either but what we do know is there was no theft happening there was no situation where she actually rented the fucking bike and then the guy came in and swooped in and tried to take it and like ride the bike on her money because there was a lot of people immediately saying oh well you know it's like a thousand dollars if you don't return turn the bike like blah 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 it doesn't matter she was never charged even her own receipts show that she was never charged there's no theft in any regard i don't even think these kids want additional media attention i don't know where the fuck they are i don't even think that i mean first of all we know that they don't have a lawyer i'm not expecting a, a bunch of uh black high school kids to fucking lawyer up in the same uh it, it, with the same quickness that this nurse did but to be fair uh, the nurse did that because it was an employment lawyer because her job was in uh, jeopardy. The chatters in the chat, every time they talk about how like a group of violent black teenagers were violently and viciously stealing the bike of a visibly pregnant lady, need to watch the video while they uh, say it. Because when you watch the video, it's very different than the way you try to describe the video with your fucking insane words, okay? They are incredibly reasonable. They are like literally being like, hey, there's another bike right there. Like this is his bike. What the fuck? <laughs> and she's literally freaking out. Going, help, help, crying, immediately stopping crying when called out is wild. One of the friends even offers his bike. Like, what the fuck? And she stole his phone. I feel like I watched this video and wonder why it's even news law. I know. That's the craziest part about this story. This is what my first reaction was. I was like, why the fuck is this literally a national news story, man? That is a crazy thing. She made 65 grand so far. Indian Bronson says, fixing the birth rates.
40k followers. She's paid for the bike and these useless thugs ganged up on a pregnant nurse, a mother to be whose job is helping heal sick and injured people. Probably no better than more typical summary of modern America. 9,000 likes, 1,000 retweets. Tariq Nasheed is so funny. A suspected white supremacist woman. <laughs> Bro, <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Why would they record and upload the video if they were the ones in the wrong? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. They recorded the video because they thought America would side with five young black high school students over a visibly pregnant doctor. You know, that's what they probably thought. They were like, yeah, surely we're trying to steal this bike, but not a doctor. Okay, I'm getting conf conflicting information uh, from you motherfuckers. Shift work breaks your brain at the end of the day. Yeah, dude, I, I get that. But like the statement released on, on behalf of her lawyer wasn't at the end of a long shift saving fucking lives. My client was confused. And, you know, this altercation turned into something that's much uh, turned into something that should it should not have happened. The fucking lawyer literally said my client had the bike and they were trying to steal it. But the Internet did side with them. So it's hardly delusional to assume that. No, the Internet didn't side with them, you fucking idiot. The Internet literally even before this extra information came out, didn't side with them. What what you see on the internet sided with them. There was plenty of people saying the classic like, oh, the Owen Benjamin song comes to mind immediately. No, there was still plenty of fucking people that were saying incredibly unhinged and racist shit even before the receipts came out. It's a, it's a racist ass fucking uh, song. It's not even, I'm more online than you. Everyone sided with them. Okay. But she lost her job over it? No, they put her on leave, which by the way, she shouldn't lose her job over this, in my opinion, as well. I just hate that like minor miscommunications like this literally turn into major problems and, and even make it to national news. And part of the reason was literally because she was yelling, like she was yelling for help. She was being hysterical. Maybe she was being hysterical because she was coming after a long ass shift as a PA, or maybe she was a little hysterical because she was coming after a long ass shift and she was like scared of the black team teenagers oh also the best part about this discourse is, is of course this course that's right i did a pun there karen i'm gonna get those out before twitch bans me i'm gonna fire them off in rapid fire succession because twitch is about to start banning motherfuckers like saying cracker America, you must see race, and you are required to take the side of any black person in incidents that also involve a white person evidence does not matter and not only do you have to side with the person of color, but you must immediately believe that the incident is racial in nature? So because of these rules, Sarah Comrie is white and the five teenagers are black, and therefore Sarah Comrie is automatically racist and at fault. Those are the rules in America. And the media headlines immediately followed those rules, referring to Comrie as a Karen, which is a new racial slur for white women. <laughs> Wait, but like everyone can be a Karen. We we have XQ Karen as a fucking literal long-standing emote in this chat. It just means someone who has enough power to like manipulate managers or someone else in a position of power to get their bidding done. That's what that means is, a, is having a sense of entitlement. Black women are called Karen too. Everyone is called Karen. We call Austin a Karen all the fucking time, even though he says he's a white hat Karen. It's so stupid. But in today's America, you... This dude used to be on The Blaze, by the way. Well, I'm glad that he's, like, doing fucking 14 words <laughs> and, and great replacement theory on Fox News now. He's on the come up. Interesting how they removed the audio. Yeah, it's wild. I wonder why. <sighs> anyway, I mean, it's great. Now Now Karen is a, is a racial insult. It's actually more racist than the N-word, honestly, uh, which will be our second round of why can't I say it uh, discourse that's going to be played out in mainstream media, which I personally love. I've, I've had those battles. I fought those battles many, many times over. But yeah, that's great.